Hello everyone, it is Joyce from Puffy. Today we are going to be doing a clay pin because guess what I got? I got guac. I'll link these below. These are like the cheapest ones I can find. So we're gonna test the quality today. We're gonna use that when we make a clay pin today. So we are gonna make a strawberry today. Let's start off with a big ball of white clay. And what we're gonna do is press it down on the surface. I'm rolling it out with a dotting tool, but I'm sure your fingers will suffice. And we have to get it nice and smooth on the top. Okay, and now we are going to cut out a circle. And if you have a cookie cutter, that is great. I do not have a cookie cutter, so I'm just going to make a little circular imprint. And now I will cut it out. So this is not perfectly round, but we don't need it to be because we are going to shape it anyways into a strawberry. So now I am going to go ahead and try to smooth out the sides. So we are going to start shaping this into a strawberry. So first what we're going to do is make the end of the strawberry, which is quite easy. All you have to do is pinch one end. So we have the bottom already, and now we're going to take any tool, honestly, you can use your fingers and just make a little strawberry stem. You can use like the sides of some tools to help you out, but they're not extremely important and I'm sure you can shape this only by using your hands. This looks pretty good. Yeah, now I'm going to go ahead and bake it. I am back and here is the baked piece. It's very white, very smooth, so now we're going to go ahead and start painting this. I went ahead and opened the guac. Very nice set of tubes. I really like the tubes because you can control how much you're getting. So we're going to put the paint on here, and all we need is red and green. So now I'm just going to go ahead and put some red. Oh, that is very watery. Um, I don't know if it's look like that. Try another one. Okay, there's the red. That's probably oil or something. I can mix those two together to make a nice red. Okay, the color is very smooth. Definitely better compared to the dried acrylic that I used on my last video. Let's go ahead and paint this part. And guac is like, this is actually really smooth. I definitely didn't need as much red as I predicted. So a lot of it will go to waste. I mean, I don't know if it's a lot, but I had to squeeze a lot in order to get the actual red paint out. So as you can see, the red is very smooth and it goes on pretty thin, but still it has some opaqueness to it. It's already drying up. I feel it already. Yeah, I'm going to let it finish drying up. Then I will go ahead and paint the green. Hello, everyone. The red is like kind of dry. Um, not completely yet, but I think it's good enough to be able to put on the green layer now. I'm gonna go ahead and mix up our green. It is a bit watery. I'm gonna put a little bit more green, just so it'll stop being that watery. Yeah, definitely creamier now. I decided to also get some white in here because I feel like the green is a little too dark. So I'm going to go ahead and mix up the white with the brown. Hopefully it becomes like a good white. Um, I would say it's pretty decent right now, so I'm not going to mess with it. Okay, I think this is good enough. And now I'm going to go ahead and start painting the top of the strawberry. I'm using this makeup brush because it is a little bit more precise. And I'm just going to draw the areas that I want. And this brush is like a little rough because I used it for UV resin and the UV resin messed it up a little, so don't expect too much out of this brush. Just, I just want to get the general idea. Ooh, it is really sticking to my fingers. Yes, I just want to get the general idea of how I want the green parts to look. Now I'm going to go ahead and try to paint. Okay, it is not bad, but there is no like coverage, you know? So I'm going to let this dry out and then we're going to try to paint another layer. So here's an update. I put water in here to reactivate the red because this little corner was turning a little white because my finger probably melted the color. 
and that was not a good idea because what I did was make it even more white. So I'm just going to not touch that part and just try to correct it after it dries. I also mixed a, another more pasty green back here. So I was hoping it would cover up. Oh, this is not really nice. Oh, this is really nice. Okay. Okay, this is good. This is really like covering all the red. I like it. Okay, and the red is getting on my hands again, but it's fine. I will just repaint over that. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna paint the seeds using white. I'm just gonna squeeze out a new batch of white right here in the corner. So I'm gonna use a dotting tool. I'm just gonna dot on the white dots. Okay, that looks very, very cute. So this is the front side. I think it looks pretty good. All I need to do is paint the leaf part on the back side and we're gonna be all good. I decided to just leave it on the workspace because you know how messy things get. So uh, first I'm gonna get some water so I can reactivate this green paint and make sure to not get a lot. Okay, yeah, you know what? I'm just gonna squeeze some more green. Now we're just going to paint over the top and I'm actually gonna try to make the little curvy design. Even though it's the back, I'm a perfectionist so it has to have little leaf design on the back. The paint is too thin, so I'm just gonna squeeze some more. Okay, this should be good enough. So what I'm gonna do is leave a thick layer like this. Okay, this is perfect. And yes, this looks like a pretty solid strawberry now. So now what I'm gonna do is just wait for this to dry. So here's the front side. Here is the back side. I'm gonna have to fix the little scratch over here. First we have to put on the pin. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some super glue, put a drop in the middle of the pin of the strawberry. Then we're gonna take the little pin backing. So and you're gonna stick it right here. Now we're gonna let that dry. And now we can go ahead and fix that little spot with the green. Oops. So if you notice the green that's on the paintbrush is a little bit darker than the paint that's already on the strawberry. So in order to fix that, I'm just going to put the dark green around the edges of the entire strawberry in the front. So it looks like it's just a dark green outline. So now what I'm gonna do is go ahead and glaze this charm and I will show you guys how this looks like after. So this is how the final pin looks like. I glazed it twice for extra glossiness. I hope this video helped and I'll see you guys next time.